One of the latest scientific studies revealed that human activity is even more harmful to wildlife than even one of the worst nuclear catastrophes in the history of the planet. I'm talking about Chernobyl. The latest research published in Current Biology says that despite what was believed before, the population of big mammals in the excluded area of Chernobyl is actually thriving because there's not been humans in there for the last 20, 30 years, Margaret. And it's crazy to believe that you know, the first theory that the researchers had is that they will find diminished populations of wildlife in that area. But now, after 10 years of study, they realize that it's not only not diminishing, but it's thriving because there's no humans impacting the ecosystem of these, you know, larger mammals. I, that's, I mean, beautiful ponies right there. You know, the April 26, 1986 disaster of Chernobyl was the worst nuclear power plant disaster in global history. Russia, Ukraine, and Belarus were all responsible for the decontamination of that area. Serious radioactive substances went into the ground. And you could see pictures of women, you know, giving birth to babies with serious birth defects. And it's good to know that, that be, letting it be left alone without further activity Wildlife comes back, that's that's good to know. It is. I mean, we're talking about over 100,000 people that were evacuated from uh, around 1,600 square miles well, of the rain. I couldn't afford to leave, I couldn't go anywhere, and, and couldn't, um, you know, have any type of sustainability outside of that area. They were forced to, you know, sort to of... leave, yeah. Sort of, yeah, make a life among a former radioactive spill. Definitely uh, one of the, the worst catastrophes ever, but these researchers, they wanted to contrast, well, what it happens to the wildlife when we, you know, get the humans out of the area, and we compare it to other areas in the region that are not contaminated, but they do have thriving human uh, activity. And what they've seen is that actually animals, the wild animals, actually are being impacted at a higher rate in the areas where humans are thriving, and they're thriving in areas that are, although contaminated, they have no humans around, and they've seen actually spotting black bears that, you know, that they haven't seen in decades in the area. Now, this is all observation-based. What they're doing, they, they place camera traps, and they've been overflying with helicopters just trying to observe the numbers. So it's very empiric, and there's no way for them to actually go do genetic testing to see the, the genetic mutation that these animals might have developed in, in order to adapt to the terrain or to the conditions of the environment. There's documented mutations that we've seen in the past. Ah. We're not saying that. But what the study really is focusing is in the fact that human activity is a bigger threat to wildlife than even uh, nuclear and radiation contamination, which is crazy to think that they could survive a nuclear catastrophe, but they can't survive the regular human activity. We want to know your thoughts on this story. Please share them below in the comment section. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the Lib TV too.